Mr Chair, I just wanted to uh, very briefly respond um, to Kelvin Davis and uh, his point uh, about point six, how to select applicants who live outside the zone, and particularly point D, because uh, Mr Davis couldn't or didn't quite make a connection between why we might want to put this in. And I just wanted to give him a, an opposing point of view. Because uh, I believe this section actually provides for uh, tradition uh, in, a, in, a, in a world where we've become increasingly yeah, right, a, a, a incre increasingly transient. Listen to me. I'd like to, to, we're in, a, in a world which has become increasingly transient and we end up as diaspora all around the, the world and around New Zealand. And it's a like, it's a like about a marae. If you, if you couldn't, uh, for one, some one reason, you couldn't uh, go back to your marae because, because uh, of some reason, because you lived outside of that area any longer. But I think within all sorts of schools, whether across the uh, decile levels, over time, as families stay in those schools over time, they build tradition, they build uh, whakapapa and tikanga and traditions in those schools, and that encourages a sense of community, which I believe we are losing. And I think that this helps to build community across all the deciles. And from that point of view, when brothers and sisters can go back to those uh, communities and be part of those schools, uh, and involve, be involved in the traditions of those schools, it builds tradition. And I think that, Mr Chair, is a very good thing. Call the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Yeah, Mr Chairman, I, I look forward.